Today we're going to be replicating my favorite House of Masks mask of all time. Let's go. <laughs> Greetings everyone, my name is Nightshade. This is the Night Shift, a place where we collect and create all things spooky. Now as previously stated many times on this channel, you guys know that I am a huge fan of the House of Masks, and I'm also a huge fan of AJ Good's original personal smile mask. There is one version of that mask in particular that has always been my favorite one, and that is the headshot version of AJ's smile mask. I don't know why, but that one has always just been my favorite House of Masks mask of all time. And I'm also a huge fan of symmetry. So if I can draw your attention over here, you'll notice that I have a gray House of Masks V3, as well as the gray smile mask. I have a flesh tone V3, as well as the flesh tone smile mask. And I have a bullet hole V3 that we customized on the channel, but there is something missing right here. So today we're going to be replicating the headshot smile mask. Now, if you would like to follow along at home, this is what you are going to need. White paint, black paint, red paint, paint brushes, a bullet hole prosthetic, clear Plasti Dip, as well as a Distortions Unlimited House of Masks Mask Up Mask. And these things are so good. Now that I've listed the supplies, let's go ahead and switch this to the top-down camera. And here we have it. Um, first thing we're gonna do is take these straps out, but do not lose them because we're going to be using them again later. So next up, we are going to put the bullet hole on the forehead. And to do that, I'm going to be using E6000. It is my favorite adhesive. All right, so I got some white laid down on this little paper plate and we are going to paint this entire thing with the exception of the teeth. I'm going to leave the teeth, but we are going to paint the entire thing white. So here we have it after one coat. I am gonna go ahead and do a second coat because we do still have some color poking through. And uh, if you look at AJ's mask, it is pretty stark white. So yeah, we're gonna hit this with a second coat of white. All right, so now that that is nice and dry, I'm going to get a little bit of red and paint the lips red because the mask has red lips. All right, so now that the lips are nice and red, we are going to take a little bit of black and go around the eyes. All right, so up next we are gonna work on the bullet hole. Now, I'm looking at my reference photos here and there's a lot actually going on in there. There's a lot of blacks and grays, as well as different shades of red. So we're gonna start off with a little bit of black and put that in the center of the bullet hole. All right, so next up, we are gonna go in with some reds on top of that. All right, so my battery died, but I went ahead and hit this with some Plasti Dip as well as reattached the straps, but I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. And uh, the only thing left to do now is to get some close-up shots of this, and then we're gonna take it outside and get some worn shots with it. And then we're gonna meet back here and end the video, all right? I'll see you guys there.